This morning, the President is doing very well. Just 72 hours into the diagnosis now, the first week of COVID, and in particular days 7 to 10, are the most critical in determining the likely course of this illness. Thursday, he had a mild cough and some nasal congestion and fatigue, all of which are now resolving and improving. We have monitored his cardiac function, uh, his kidney function, his liver function, all of those are normal. And the President this morning is not on oxygen. About 48 hours ago, the President received uh, a special antibody therapy directed against the coronavirus, and we're working very closely with the company to monitor him. Yesterday evening, he received his first dose of IV remdesivir, and our plan is to continue a five-day treatment course for remdesivir. The President's been fever-free for over 24 hours. Uh, we remain cautiously optimistic, um, but he's doing great. Do you have an estimated date when he might be discharged? Uh, well, I don't want to put a hard date on that. Given that we provided some of these uh, uh, advanced therapy so early in the course, a little bit earlier than, than most of the patients we know and follow. Um, it's hard to tell where he is uh, on that course. We're maximizing uh, all aspects of his care, uh, attacking uh, this virus, you know, multi-pronged uh, approach. Uh, as the president, uh, I didn't want to hold anything back. If there was any possibility that it would add value to his care and expedite his return, um, I wanted to take it. Has he ever been on supplemental oxygen? He Right now, he is not on I oxygen. You, I know you keep saying That's right, right now, right. but should we read into the fact that he had been previously? Yesterday and today, he was not on oxygen. When was the positive diagnosis made? Uh, you said 72 hours. That would present Wednesday. Yeah, uh, so Thursday afternoon, uh, following, uh, uh, following the news of a, a close contact, is when we, we repeated testing. Um, and given kind of clinical indications, I had a little bit more concern. And that's when that late that night, uh, we got the PCR confirmation. In addition to his weight, does he have any other risk factors that make him more at risk for sort of a severe case? Well, uh, not particularly. I mean, he's, he's 74, he's male, um, and he is slightly overweight. So why was the decision made to transfer him here? Because he's the President of the United States. Why wasn't the First Lady admitted as well? Uh, the First Lady's doing great, thanks for asking. Uh, she has no indication for hospitalization, advanced therapy. She's convalescing at home. Uh, thank you.